Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Bug Fables. In the last episode, we completed our quest to destroy the monsters terrorizing lands of Agarium, with the bounty board now completely barren, and the collection of the fabled treasures starting to draw ever nearer, our journey into the depths of the Deadlands now only just truly begins, because we're going to be finally starting on Chapter 7. Since I feel like with the bounty missions done, I think we're fully prepared for whatever we may, may run into inside the Deadlands and, I guess, into the Giants' um, lair. Because I think that the Giants' lair and the Deadlands, even though they're connected, I think the Giants' lair is actually further in, just because of the fact that they do have separate names. So, with that being said, honestly, before we do actually go back into there, I actually want to see what our team has to say, because we do have quite a few friends here, and we actually didn't talk to them right away. Mm. I've been pit polishing my darts. That jerk messed with my wrong, with the wrong family. <laughs> okay then. And we cannot thank you enough for all you've done, Team Snake Mouth. Even before the Waz King struck, I'm glad I gave you a permit. Oh, uh, Sir Monkey. Um, I told ya. I was worth the f like four bees. <laughs> we missed that whole thing. You'll have to share the tale over some food when we're done. Yeah, she tried to tell Edel that she was worth more than four, like, basically four bees. And technically, Maki was only here talking to Kabu, so he didn't get to hear any of that, so that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, Team Steak Mouth, there's nothing left to say, as my orders are clear. Um, but thank you for escorting me through the Forsaken Lands. Mm, thank you all, Queen, for making the journey. It's thanks to you we got the submarine. It was my duty and honor. I hope you will escort me once more. Um, count on it. Um, absolutely. <laughs> okay. What about you, Zasp and Malfia? Maybe Malfia will actually give us some, you know, maybe something, but I highly doubt it, though. <laughs> We're on even standing, Team Snake Mouth. Mm, you're all too decent to tag along with Malfia. Eh, that's for me to decide, right? Um, look whatever. Just beat a bunch of baddies up. <laughs> that's plain. Break a leg, okay? Um, uh, break a leg. It's, um, it means good luck. <laughs> yep, okay, so let's see here. Mafia. Oh, ho, ho. Hmm, have you chosen to laugh just because? Um, I'm just delighted. We're going to be famous. The books will speak of great Mafia's valiant role in saving Bulgaria. Yeah, you kind of almost killed us all, let's be honest here. If they beat us during the Coliseum, let's be honest here, we were never getting that submarine. Oh, yeah, in a little corner next to the portraits. Oh, we'll see about that little runt. Oh, uh, we'll see indeed, but today we are comrades. <laughs> yeah, I highly doubt she'll have a picture in that portrait, but she could try. Um, Harry, are we really strong enough? Oh, chin up, Jen. Remember, when we set up that bomb trap? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, just set up a trap behind the baddies, too. Hmm, we'd be counting on you. Oh gosh, no pressure, right? Uh, well, just a bit of pressure. <laughs> let's do this, sis. Okay. Well, looks like we have... Actually, I don't think we have to worry about um, Vanessa, but we will definitely still talk to her. I think um, we already did her uh, dialogue when we got her flame brooch, but let's see her. Um, thank you for assisting us defe in defeating Scarlet. We'll pull our weight this time and pay our debts. It was nothing. Oh wait, it was nothing. You all helped us protect Neo after all. True. <laughs> and we did indeed get Monsoor Scarlet, so I'm guessing if we didn't help them with that, they wouldn't be here. Huh, interesting. Um, hey. Um, hey. Um, I am a bit nervous. Hmm, we're a bit nervous too. But Levi's super pumped up, so I won't let any fear show. Uh, that's what a true cur uh, what true courage is. Facing our own fears. Let's bravely face that tyrant and save the kingdom. <laughs> true there. And we'll de definitely double check here. Um, leave the way when your preparations are complete. Okay, I think we're ready. So let's make our way in. It's literally we're we're ready, I think. I'm honestly kinda scared because of the fact that what we saw 
is definitely scary. So, uh, and also the music kind of puts me on edge too, I'll be honest. So, I guess let's do this into the Deadlands. And this time we're ready for the giant creature this time, so walk a little bit. There we go, okay. And it seems like you can dodge him for the most part. Can we dig underneath his spotlight? You can. Okay, interesting. Oh, hello, what are you? Creepy looking creature. But okay, let's fight him. No reason not to, right? But we did get the initiation on him, so we get to see what this guy is. So let's see here. Deadlander Alpha. Okay. So they all have symbols. I think, um, the one that he drops, I forgot the name of the symbol, but I think that's, um, Theta, I think. Or, um, f or Pi, actually. Phi. But I'm not too sure. Uh, the real monsters don't compare to the Northern Tales. What firepower? Fire 29 HP, 1 defense. Jeez, okay then. Focus on blocking this poison team. Leave on Earth they went at Burrows. Burrows? Huh, okay then. Yeah, we'll definitely deal with that in due time. But, yeah, Deadlander or Alpha. So it's basically kind of like the turrets in the bees, um, hive, but it shoots poison instead of stun, and it also has tons more HP. So, interesting. Honestly, let's see here. I wonder, does it actually take a turn to change ribbons? Because we actually, I ended up buying one of those ribbons with, I actually just purchased it outright instead of playing the games, to be honest. But we definitely do have the ability to use it. So it does take a turn. Okay, not the worst case scenario. Since shock could definitely come in handy. But it's okay, so it burrows and attacks at the same turn. Interesting. Huh. I'm guessing if it hits you and you don't block, maybe it counts as it actually going through with the attack there and burrowing. Huh. Okay. Oh, it uses TP to use it. Oh. So I can either attack normal or I can do a numbing bite. Oh, we could try it out. We've never done it before, so let's see here. It did shock, so that's cool. So we stopped a turn from that thing. I wonder if that would be good on the giant spider crab creatures that the giant monster um, high thing drops on top of us. It's definitely not human, and the reason why I can tell that is because of the hand. So what is it? It's huge, whatever it is, and that kind of freaks me out, but yeah, it's definitely weird, because the fact is, is that the hand is somewhat spider-like in my way, um, my honest opinion, just because of the fact of how the, the hand drops, but I guess you can also say it looks like a couple different other bugs, but it definitely is freaky, nonetheless, but we're gonna try and leave him alone as much as possible since they seem to leave us alone for the most part. But since we do know that we have to dig underneath the spotlights, we'll definitely do that, since it does leave us alone. Because the thing is, is I don't think you're supposed to fight the big guys. I think you're supposed to, those are supposed to be a deterrent as m much as they possibly can get. And I'm going to jump off because <laughs> he doesn't see me if I jump off of there. Oh, I thought I could make that jump, honestly, but apparently not. Hmm, okay. Well, let's definitely make our way over. Let's see here. Actually, this might be a better spot, actually. Well, let's get underneath. So let's see here. I think we're still in the spotlight there, but it's interesting. So just remember that Kabu's next on the turn order. And the reason why I messed up is because um, I pressed square twice and got confused. Oh, he checks out certain pillars. Okay. Interesting. Let's make our way over here. Dig back under. Because, yeah, I don't think fighting off against the creatures it spawns is a smart idea, to be honest. Just because they seem to do a lot of damage, as well as have a lot of HP. Okay, there we go. Got past the second spotlight perfectly fine. But we do have another new creature, which is a flying creature of some sort, which, uh, honestly looks like a giant sea cucumber, a sea, sea cucumber, that f flying with some balloons, but, huh, okay, Deadlander Beta, okay, hello buddy, 
So what's going on with you? Because they're definitely all poisonous here, based on the fact that, it's, well, obviously the poison fog is not helping them any when it comes to hiding what they are. Um, this disgusting poison vomiting creature is simply out of my reach. 18 HP, 1 defense, okay. Uh, Violet, I've never needed you more than I do now. Okay. Well, maybe we can pop the balloons, maybe? Let's see here. No, he's still up in the air. Huh. So, I'm guessing he always stays in the air, then. If that's the case. That's an interesting thing. Because we're not popping the balloons, it doesn't seem like we're doing much to him there. So... So we definitely need to go for attacks on it and try and like keep it out of the um, sky as much as possible. So I'm guessing we should just keep doing normal damage to it just so we can't, you know, survive for much longer because let's be honest here, if we can't attack it, we can't really do anything. I'm going to change back to the pretty ribbon though since we do more damage. Oh, what the? Okay then, I was not expecting you to shoot me with the hyper beam of poison, but <laughs> Apparently you do that. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. We're just gonna go for a big hit here, because this guy is actually kind of hard to hit. Just because of the fact that the only way we can hit him is with a skill with Leaf, or with just, in fact, just normal Vise Beamerang. Which is not easy, honestly, for the most part. But, yeah, it looks like we gotta survive either another turn, or we can try something here. And that's going to require us to just drop another Ice Fall, I think. Because, yeah, if we want to get rid of him this turn and not get hit by another Poison Beam, we got to be safe. So, we get a little bit of that back for just knocking him out. We got the Ice Fall back anyways. So it's not the worst thing. But, oh, another one of those turret guys. Let's definitely take a look around before we go anywhere else. Just so we can kind of see. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a rock up here. Hello. Uh, throw that down, I guess? I think I might see why we need that rock over there, actually. Oh! It, what is it doing with my rock? Um... Oh, okay, it's distracted. Okay, that freaked me out for a second. <laughs> okay. I don't know why that freaked me out though, just seeing the hand come out of nowhere right there. That freaked me out. Okay then. Huh. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's really mad now. It's You can actually see its arms on the little thing here. Oh my goodness, it must be huge just looking at the arms. What kind of creature is it? That's like, it seems like otherworldly whatever it is. Um. Will he pick up ice? Just because we know he can pick up rocks. Aw. Uh, doesn't seem like he can. Let's see here. If we push it into his vision, maybe he'll grab it? I just want to see. Because if he doesn't, we can always do... Is he moving? Oh, here he goes. It doesn't seem like it holds his attention like the rock does. Okay. Definitely good to know, because, yeah, I was not expecting um, the giant hand to randomly just pick up my rock like that. I'm gonna be honest there, that that actually kind of freaked me out, because I was, yeah, um, that was the last thing I was expecting. Oh, let's move it again. Just trying not to be inside its radius, because, let's be honest here, whatever it, it is, who even knows if it can actually attack us? So... Yeah, let's definitely try and be safe. Okay, it's coming back. Stand under the ground. Of course, it's right on top of us. Okay, I need you to move, bud. Okay, there we go. Okay. I don't think you can make that jump. It looks like we need to move it past the... What looks to be a stack of quarters, I think? Are those quarters or are those different types of currencies? Because it looks like a USD quarter and some pennies here. But... I'm honestly not sure. Hmm. Oh, he's distracted. Okay, this is our move. <gasps> Go for it, guys. Oh, nope, we can't make that jump. What? Oh. Wait, no, wait, maybe. I think we can, technically. What we need to do 
I think, is we need to do something like this. And this is going to be a little sketchier, just because of the fact of the giant creature, but it ended up not working in my favor. I'm going to go back down just because I don't know where his spotlight is. But it seems like he goes in a pattern, so we're perfectly safe for the most part for when we're trying to figure our way around this puzzle. But, let's see here. Hopefully I can get on top of this quarter. There we go, perfect. Okay, let's get underneath the ground, just in case there, yep, he, yep, he spawned directly on top of us. So yeah, good thing we did that. Okay. Definitely a creepy place, though. The music, the atmosphere, it's just overall just, just creepy and... Honestly, I like it. It's like a horror game mixed into, a, like, the fun-filled environment that was pretty much most of this game. It's insanely um, disturbing, but in a good way. So, I'll definitely take it, because it's been a while since we did a horror game. So, honestly, I feel like I'm playing, like, Alien Isolation again at this point, just because of that. Thankfully, we know ways we could deal with the monster, because I actually didn't know that it's, um... When you're walking around with the scanner, the scanner actually, the noises it makes, I didn't know this, but they didn't say anything about this in anywhere, that the scanner actually attracts him. And if you have the scanner out, he's gonna, all, he can actually hear you. I didn't even know that. So if you're hiding inside a, you know, like a locker, you actually get attacked by it anyways. I didn't know that. I'm surprised I didn't because of the fact that you know, you would think it would tell you on like a piece of paper or something about it throughout the game, but yeah, I was told that by a friend of mine, and I never even knew that until um, they told me, I'm not even joking, which is, if I knew that, I probably would have had an easier time with that game, because I've had times where, um, yeah, I got jump scared because of the locker thing, because, yeah, I did not know that that was a thing, to be honest, but it is good to know about it if I ever... Like, if they ever make a second game for that, I highly doubt it, but, um, it would be nice to have the information. But let's see here. I want to take a look over here in case there is anything else. Can we go back here? Yeah, we can. Any reason. Okay, looks like we got another one of the alphas over there. We have a switch that we need to hit over on top of the Tonka truck looking thing. Huh. Okay, not hard looking, but let's definitely stay out of the spotlight. We're not gonna walk into that on accident. If we get a heal in between, but the thing is, is Venus can't come back here and we know that. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be interesting what we need to do for that. But I do think we should swap Leaf and Kabu here, just in case. And I think maybe going for Needle Toss might be smart, just because it does piercing damage, as well as it can poison and stun and sleep. So, honestly, no reason not to do it. So if we can get any kind of status, which we didn't, which is technically unfortunate, but it's not the worst case scenario either, because obviously we can just go for another one. It's just that, there we go, we got the stun in. Perfect. I was kind of hoping the Needle, um, needle Toss would actually you know, break the balloons, but sadly they don't. I'm surprised about that. But, um, let's give one turn to Vi, I think. And then we're gonna have Vi, or, honestly, yeah, let's do a do-nothing to get some meditation points. We can't do that twice, though, so we can only do it once. And then I think we don't have enough for an attack here, but we can sit for a turn. Just to prepare for whatever this thing may do. And because it's stunned and poisoned, it gets one damage onto it and then also loses its turn. So it's not bad for where we are now, but I think maybe a do-nothing for one of them. And then we get to still have our attack there. Let's go for the needle toss here. That should be enough to pierce the armor of this thing to a point where we can actually deal with them. And there we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's literally the best case scenario is using by to deal with that thing, from what I can see. Ooh, what a drop. A mystery berry. A weird berry native to the Deadlands. Looks dangerous, but tastes delicious. Restores question mark HP H by AIDS H um, question mark. 
Uh, based on what I have, I don't think it's good to tr pick that up. I'll keep it here. I just don't feel like dropping that would be smart. Oh, creature moved. Okay, I turned. Oh, okay. Wait. I want to be safe here. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't see a way back up from the pathway there. Mostly because I kind of blocked my own pathway. But... Is there anything to do with this rock one? Oh. Yeah, it seems to be the case. But I can't really tell because he's kind of watching that area. There we go. Okay, so... Yeah, there was no reason to go over to the rock area. I just wanted to double check because you never know. But, um... Yeah, wait a minute. How do I get back up there? Um... I could probably fly. Yeah, I could probably- yeah, I can definitely fly. Okay. Okay, where's his light going? It looks like he stays in a up and down pattern here. So, we're safe to move as long as we play it safe. Okay. Ooh, he sees us. Oh wait, no he didn't. <laughs> he didn't see me there, I'm surprised. Okay. Let's wait for him to pick and choose his next location. And fly right past him, okay. Getting back into the ground. I'm not trusting him for spawning randomly. Thankfully, he doesn't see us when we're underground. That's insanely good for us. But, yeah, definitely with how things are going here, definitely an interesting situation. And that thing actually moves quite fast for a flying enemy. Huh. Okay, then. Nice try on trying to catch me there, bud. Oh, uh-oh. Now there's two of them. Um, let's leave them alone, I guess. Just for the time being. Because I'm going to see what's going on with the other thing real quick. So if I can free... Oh, wait, what the? I can't freeze him? Uh, huh. That's interesting. How do I get this, though? Oh, yeah, I already... Um, <laughs> forgot the water puddle. Forgot that was there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know how to do that. Okay. So we just need to move this over there. But I do wonder what kind of um, save that is, because it's not blue. It's different than we've seen before. So, what does it do differently? That is interesting, though. Okay, let's try and get away from him. And it didn't really move him away far enough from where I wanted him to go. I just want to go to that save first before I deal with him, mostly, to be honest. So hopefully, there we go. We're getting into a decent spot. Thankfully, three hits to him kind of moves him far enough away from where I want to be with this thing, and thankfully he can't go quite far from his main position, because they have like an AoE of where they can actually walk. Let's see here. It's a- oh, it's just a- oh my god, okay. Well, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, well, apparently the dong noise of the save actually made him freak out there. Okay then, um, well, it makes sense that he can hear me, so let's start dealing with the spider guy, because we never actually beat one of these yet. And I think we could def definitely do that, now that we're much closer, but we'll read this again. What cursed creature could carry these monsters east? We may even need to consider retreating. We must block these four missiles, but the claw cannot be ignored either. Okay. But, yeah, definitely... Yeah, this thing is not a pushover, for sure. Just because of the fact of, well, the thing, well, one, the defense, and then, honestly, if you're, ha if you have no TP, I think you're more likely to lose this fight than you are to win it. So, thankfully, we did heal, so we aren't in a bad situation, but, yeah, definitely, when we were, when we first fought with this guy, we were low on HP, so it was much harder than he normally would be, I think, but... Now that we actually understand him, and the fact that how the Spore Mishtal works, we actually now understand how to deal with him, but it's definitely an interesting creature, and honestly, the fact that that um, giant monster knows where we are now and knows that we're here is pretty terrifying, I'm gonna be honest. And honestly, it probably already knew we were in there because it kept popping up where we were kinda at, so let's be honest here. Um, oh, shh, okay, seriously, <laughs> why did he spawn like that? 
<laughs> he spawned directly on top of me like that one. Okay. I'm gonna run from that one just so I don't get it attacked. Wait, I was underground. Wait, what? Okay, um, good thing you could run from fights because that was weird. Okay. Is it constantly gonna see me? The creature, or is he just gonna spawn up randomly again? Okay. Oh, he's camping the heel now. Oh, that's what happened. So you hit the heel and then he completely blocks you from using it. Oh, well that's not good. Does he still watch that heel? Or is he gone from it? It's worth a shot, just checking. Let's see here. Where is his eye? I don't see his eye. Oh, he is leaving it alone now. Okay, so you get one free heal. Unless this thing attacks me. <laughs> okay, Mr. Uh, flying Creature. Oh. oh, that's not good. Uh, oops. <laughs> well, now they're going to get a free hit on me, but it's, it's not the worst thing. I just wanted to get some TP back, to be honest. That's the only reason why I'm going back in here. And honestly, I could probably do a cut just so I can go and grab that. Because it will save you guys some time since you already know what I'm going to do. I'm literally just going to push him out of the way and then get him into a spot where I can grab the heal for free without any problems. But sorry, Kabu. Gotta leave you behind, bud. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be right back and then we'll go into the next area after I get my heal. I just wanted to get that just because I did not expect the giant creature to jump um, a giant spider on top of my head. And um, that fast of time, because I wasn't prepared for it to move. And one, I just didn't think that the heal would actually move the eye, which caught me completely off guard. So I'll be right back, and then we'll go into the next area and continue our journey into the further Deadlands. And honestly, I'm not sure how much further we are until we're out of here, but we're definitely making decent progress, I think. But yeah, I'll be right back, and I'll see you guys very very soon. Okay, and now that we actually got our nice little heal in, honestly, I actually haven't checked our team yet, so I wonder what they think about everything. Hmm, we're just gonna keep ignoring those giant eyes, right? Oh, it's not just the eye. They're super massive. Um, it's a good plan, Leave. We're ignoring them. Preferably forever. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, probably a good idea, let's be honest here. Well, let's get underneath the ground, because I don't know if the... Oh, Apparently, maybe the... Oh, I guess everyone made it, so good thing, too. Um, this dreadful place is absolutely dreadful. Um, I've stung and worn down pubs fancier than this. Um, those Deadlanders aren't anything to mess with, either. True. What's with the ice cave-looking thing? Um, I pray we won't run into any more of them climbing this behemoth. <laughs> it seems to be a machine. Giants hand hand handled power at such a large scale. Um, it's a bit chilly near it. Hmm, it reminds us of the Lost Sons Castle. Um, well, whatever. It can't be as tall and as cold as it- It can be as tall and cold as it wants. We're gonna climb it. Um, simple mind. <laughs> says you. <laughs> Let's go in then. Wait. Um, what is that? And when we've been surrounded. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, we have. Um, eep, what the heck, run. Uh, we should fall back. <laughs> There's no way out. They completely pincered us. <laughs> they do have pincers. Um, everyone, there is no choice. We fight as one. Um, well spoken, my knights. I shall assist thee as well. Okay, looks like we're gonna be fighting off with- oh no, giant spider guys here. Okay, looks like we actually do need to fight him. Oh, Maki's on our team though, so we're, we should be fine. Thank you, Maki, cuz, let's be honest here, if you weren't here, this probably would be much more dangerous. But good thing we did do that heal, cuz, yeah, if we didn't get the heal in, uh, this might be a much worse situation, let's be honest there. But let's definitely try and do some good damage in here. Not bad. Definitely could have been worse, but let's see here. I'm gonna say just do a normal attack on you. The thing is, is I don't want to be put to sleep by the giant spider dude, 
Because let's be honest, the Y um, one definitely isn't friendly. But as long as we don't get, um, you know, attacked by that. I thought I blocked it that time, to be honest. But it seems like the timing is interesting on that. Okay, thankfully he went for the easier one to dodge. Because, let's be honest, the pincer is super easy. But the spore missile, um, when he charges up, it's, the first timing is kind of off. So you need to kind of be ready for the, you know, the first timing. Other than that, you can kind of get it after that. But it's definitely the first one is definitely the hardest one to prepare for. But after that, every other spore is pretty easy, from what I can see. But, yeah, let's definitely keep doing damage here. As much as we can to hopefully help out, help out Maki as much as possible. And since he always does six, that's actually really good for us. And I still have yet to actually block the other one, to be honest. Oh, we can use electricity, too. And, well, although we are put to sleep, it's not the worst case scenario. But, I definitely say try and get him out of the way, if we can. Just as much damage as we can possibly get in. And then prepare Maki, if we possibly can as well. I'm gonna say a dash through might be smart here. Just because I don't mind wasting any kind of spell points at the moment. Since TP um, is not much of a problem for us. Because we ha do have the regeneration. Although I did use everything I had to get through that fight. But I feel like we should be fine with that. Because as long as we don't deal with anything as tanky as the Deadlanders further in, I think we should be fine. But I'm going to say we probably will. <laughs> Good thing the others stayed back. That was close. Um, oh, oh. um, everyone, you did splendidly. Coast is clear. Um, well, duh. You were with us. Um, let's press forward. We need to find a way to get the others to come over. Um, probably not smart. The giant creature might do something to him, let's be honest here. Hmm, we will fortune to have help. Both Deadliners must be showing the Lost King down as well. Let's catch up. Hmm. Yeah. Probably the Lost King's probably swiping at him left and right, though, let's be honest here. I think, if anything, the Lost King's having an easy time with those guys. If he could do 999 damage to us, I can only imagine how much damage he's doing to the Deadlanders on his own. Because the Deadlanders are weaker than us. Oh, what the? What's with the electricity? Huh. Looks like some kind of plug of some sort that's been detached, but is connected to one of the ant crystals? Huh. Weird. Definitely not going that way, but I'm wondering what's going on in that area. Let's see what's going on with the team here. Um, Das, come my fluff. I must look dashing when we take down the tyrants. Hmm, are you all nervous? Um, no, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Uh, huh. Um, it will. Promise you will protect you. Um, we, we don't need it. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, hee hee. We're gonna do it anyways. True. But what about you, Zasp? Uh, say, Zasp. Where are the other explorers? Heh, <laughs> they stay behind. The dead landers are too tough for them. Maybe we can open a path for them to come over. Eh, maybe, but this place is something else. For once, I fear our safety. Um, it's gonna be fine. We've all gotten super strong anyways. True. But yeah, I don't think it's safe to bring anybody else in. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah, at least Zasp is cool. Malvia is still kind of a jerk, but eh, nothing we can do about that one. <laughs> Such a massive machine for us, the legends say. Giants were huge. So these machines must have been normal size for them. Handling such great power, how could they have vanished? And with the state of this place, it's how could, um, how could it happen in such a terrible way? Huh, that is weird. If the giants, which are people, have disappeared, what happened? That is true. Well, if they're gone, that means they're all gone, right? So, they're 100% dead, which is kind of creepy. But, uh, yeah, what could make the humans disappear? That is weird. Um, even though it's super old, that machine's still working. The giants made pretty sturdy stuff. True. Well, what about you, Lizette? Um, we must press on. We cannot let the Wasp King get to the Southling before us. 
Uh, climbing that thing will be a monumental task, however. True. Let's see what the team thinks. Uh, by Venus, we've been ambushed alone. Um, it would have been fine. It's fine to admit we needed help, why? Um, I know, but I don't really think we would have lost. True. Fair. I don't, I don't blame you there, to be honest. And it looks like, oh, hey, it's a broken roach statue up there. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. But, I guess we just make our way inside then? Because there's no way to climb the thing, from what I can see. So, I'm guessing we're inside a freezer, I think? Just because of the fact that we know we're inside, the, um, what is a human's house. So, it's gotta be, you know, it's gotta be a freezer, right? So, interesting. Surprised that the freezer still works, though. Huh. Weird. Very, very weird. But, thankfully, these enemies are easy, so let's be honest here, these guys are not going to do much. So, thankfully, we don't have to worry about anything too dangerous here. But, we'll be fine, I think. Just because of the fact that, as I said before, we fought these guys before, so it's nothing new. But we do need to prepare for the guy that's going to be flying here, and thankfully, we actually got rid of the other one. So the crawler is down, and now we just got to get rid of the warden. Because we, we literally fought these guys back in the Lost Sands to, um, castle. So, it's pretty interesting to see them back, to be honest. And he's energizing with all by himself with no way of surviving. Okay, well, um, you wrote your own deathbed. I'm gonna be honest there, bud. Not my fault. Because, let's be honest here, you could have attacked us and actually had a chance. But you took the... <laughs> yeah, you took the worst possible way for you. Okay, it looks like we have some kind of ice puzzle here. So we need to definitely go for a freeze of some sort. Not sure what exactly yet. But I'm going to say maybe we're going to be flying. Unless, oh, we can't take it out. Okay. So maybe we can... We can't jump up there. Can we jump on top of this ice cube? No, not from this one, it seems. Okay, so it's too low. Which is not bad, but it does kind of affect us in a way. So we do need to be careful. Let's try and be safe here because of the fact that if we do this wrong, we might accidentally hit it into the geyser of water that's somehow not frozen, to be honest. But it seems like we want this right down the middle, it seems. Okay, not bad. And then it looks like maybe fly from here. Yep, there we go. Perfect. And then I guess jump up here? Hmm, okay. Surprise there's no dead landers in here, honestly. But I guess they're maybe scared of this place? Oh, crystal berry. Um, how do I get that though? Uh can I fly there? I think I might be able to squeeze in there. No reason not to try, right? There we go, crystal berry. Thanks. <laughs> Sound a little excited for that for what I have left in the uh, loot pool, but honestly. I'll take any of the crystal berries I can find on my own. So, definitely nice to see it. It's just because of the fact that finding them is really nice. It's just like, um, just in general, it's just like, oh, hey, I found something. Because <laughs> they usually hide them pretty decently. Because I found all the ones for the previous chapters, and I'll be honest, uh, they're, they can be pretty, um, pretty, like, hidden for the most part. So, definitely cool to see. Let's see here. I think I might need to move that ice cube that's sitting here because of the fact that it's kind of in the path of what we need to use the big ice cube for, I think. So let's try and move it like there, I think. And then go from here and then push this down just so it's out of position. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I know what we need to do. This ice cube's supposed to block the other ice cube from going too far down. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, and then we just hit this down. Okay, and then we hit this to the right. And I guess follow it? Okay, let's see. Don't see anything to do with it. But, hmm, definitely interesting. I feel like, um, honestly, hitting it to the right, the left side would be smarter, in my honest opinion. So I'm kind of curious why you could push it to the right if there's no real reason to do so. But, huh. I'm going to say probably what we want to do here. 
Actually, now I think about it, maybe. But the thing is, is that it's... Actually, you know what? It's probably better to test from up here. Let's go on top of the ignal milk carton first before we go any further with this puzzle. Just to figure out where we actually need to go with this. Because we didn't check for that yet. So maybe there's more to it than we're seeing. Because maybe we can't see the bigger picture from down there. So, let's see here. We're definitely going to need the ice cube here to jump onto this ice cube, I think. And then from here, yeah, okay. So I was right, it does need to be in that spot. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because we obviously didn't check beforehand. So it's good to know that that is the case. So all we need to do now is just move this ice cube into position. And then we should be um, ready to go since we did already put it in that position before. So just push this back down here. And then after that, we just push it back to where it was. And then make our way back up since it shouldn't be too hard to do so. So push that down, push this to the right. Okay, now that's in position. Now we just push this ice cube back to letting us back on top of that. And then honestly, just try and do the puzzle from there. Because I think that's all we really need since there's nothing else that's stopping us here. So we should be fine. Let's see here, just make sure we get on that tomato soup can, which, or at least what seems to be one. Can we really make that jump? Oh yeah. I thought we'd fly for less time, but apparently we can actually make a jump like that. Huh. Actually surprised. But definitely make our way over here and jump on up. Okay. Two areas through. Another warden, but let's be honest here. I'm not scared of wardens whatsoever. But it is interesting to see them again after, you know, it's been so many chapters since we've seen the wardens. And honestly, they're more dangerous than the crawler. So... Let's be honest here, we probably should deal with him first. I'm gonna be honest here, I just thought of that. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Just because of the fact that, let's be honest here, the warden can freeze you. And the crawler is... Well, I think he can freeze you, but I think it's a lesser chance. Just because of the fact that the warden's more built towards it. Yeah, we weren't gonna do any damage anyways. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally attacked with that, because the first strike metal kind of makes it do no nothing. Oh, he tried to go for a freeze, actually. Talking about freezing. But he messed up completely. Sorry, bud, you gotta try harder than that. But I could definitely give you another beam ring. <laughs> okay, definitely in a good spot, though. Okay, down goes the crawler and the warden. Easy peasy. <laughs> and there we go, perfect. I'm actually... Don't I have a bug bean on? I'm surprised that these things are actually able to fight us. Oh, we don't. Oh, well, we can turn that on. Since these guys are really, really weak, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, we're supposed to freeze him. Because if he's respawning, that means he actually needs to be dealt with in a different manner. Huh, okay. Don't know what I need him for yet, but... Okay, well, hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna say maybe for getting on top of the water... Um, pillars, maybe? That would make sense. But... Let's see here. That definitely needs to be there. And because this is a frozen area... But the thing is, I kind of put him in a weird spot. So hopefully I can kind of unlaunch him here. I think... Yeah, we're dead. Oh yeah, I forgot. We can charge through him. <laughs> Oops. Um... I need to run from you, bud. Just because you're in a weird spot and... Honestly, I don't need to worry about the berries I'm losing here. But let's move him back into a better spot here. So we can't put him on the ice cube area. Which is... Strange. But I do know how we can deal with them. So just put him there. And this guy won't unfreeze because we are in a frozen area. So thankfully that's good. And I think maybe I might be able to fly there. Let's see here. Nope, can't. So we need to wait for this to be in a better spot. Here, I think? Yeah, I think that's perfect, actually. I think we only need two of those geysers to get there. Which is perfect, honestly. Okay, not bad. And apparently he's strong enough to fight us. Oh, because he's got one of the haunted cloths with him. I'm surprised that enemy's here too, honestly. But it makes sense because those were inside the Lost Sand Castle as well. But why is there a bunch of Lost Sand Castle creatures here? It makes sense for the, you know, the type that they are. But it is strange. I'll definitely be honest there. Um, I actually am curious. How much damage do we do with Ice Rain to these guys? Because I know they kind of resist it. So, hmm. Two damage is not bad. It's better than nothing, honestly. 
but interesting. Well, we can definitely get rid of one of these for free, so let's definitely go for that. And then I guess just keep doing damage here, since no other reason not to. And then I guess, um, do we do enough damage to get rid of the crawler here? Probably not, but we could probably just go for skill here and confirm it, just to get him out of the way. And then if he does respawn, we know we need him for a puzzle. So that's also a good reason why we're fighting him too. So let's see here. Oh, forgot he does an AoE. <laughs> kind of forgot that attack to be honest, but that's mostly because I haven't fought this guy in a long time. And wow, we do a lot of damage to those guys. But 4 TP back and 2 HP back, not bad whatsoever. Okay, does he respawn? No, he doesn't. Okay, good. So from there, now that we did that, so we need to we need to figure out the rest of this puzzle now. Since now we have that, there's no reason to worry. So I'm trying to think of where we go. It looks like we go inside the thing in the middle there. Maybe? That seems like an idea. Looks like we might need to freeze these um, pillars though, in order to make a map for us to go through. So let's see here. I can go up there. This can go up here. Hmm. I'm gonna say maybe unfreeze this one now, maybe? Or wait, wait, wait. No, we need it to get to the pop in general. So push it up here then. And then I think that should be fine. Maybe? I'm not too sure, I'll be honest. But I'm gonna say that's probably the positioning. So let's def definitely at least check our work and see if it does work. Because if it does, we're good. But if it doesn't, um, who knows? But I think it is right. Yep, we definitely get up there. Cool. Okay, let's make our way to the next area on top of the glass bottle. And then into whatever this is. And I guess press A. Yep, ride the lift. Sure. Where is this taking us, though? Interesting situation. Uh-oh, back in the Deadlands. But... Huh. Can I get... Oh, oh, I can dig. Okay, I was kind of concerned for a second. Are we safe or... Are we good? Well, everyone else is here, so that's fine. Um, this is a village. Um, halts are being paled. Huh? Oh! Wait, the roaches! This is where they've been! Um, roaches! No the way! Hmm, so some didn't vanish after all. Huh. So what are they doing here? Whom oh, you did halt! You may be just or simply cowards. Um, please allow us to explain the situation. We're short on time. Huh, bleh. There's nothing to explain. Everyone's after the sampling today. And <laughs> sampling. It is real, then. Hmm, silence. You've spoken too much. Um, sorry, Elder. You've come with that crook. Um, no, please. In the name of the people. Um, my people, allow me to explain. Well, we didn't get attacked, so... And the music's on, so I guess... We actually listened. Thanks, bud. Hmm, I see. To think that after un uneventful generations guarding this happening, so many people would come for it in just one day. That wasp king you're talking about snuck past us while we dealt with his troops. He used them like pawns, not caring about their lives at all. Oh, disgusting. How can you treat his loyal followers like that? Um, that's pretty much you in a nutshell. Um, huh? You do have a heart then. Uh, praise allow us, uh, please allow us to go after him. <laughs> and what will you do when you get the sapling from him? Just what do you plan on doing to our sacred treasure? Um, I... I had a dream to use its power to fulfill my wishes, but the lust for that power has only brought turmoil to Bulgaria. I will destroy it. Uh, what? Really? I don't know if the roaches are gonna like that one. Who knows, but okay. Hmm, what, what about your mother? Um, she interested her dream to me, and I fulfilled it. The land teamed with explorers searching for ultimate treasure. She would be proud of me. She deserves to rest. Mm, how dare you spin the words of as noble the sapling is sacred. Um, Elder, if they destroy it, what will be of us? Our life's purpose. 
That crook may be mad, but he wouldn't desecrate our treasure like you. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the good, best idea to say that in front of him. You heard the Elder. She never changes her mind. You won't pass. She. Okay. I literally couldn't tell, but okay. Um, will this have to knock out? Uh, no, Vi. There's no other way to solve this. Well, they've blinded by their devotion, understandable. Hmm, what is the aunt or queen we will support you? We must plead our case once more. Heh, <laughs> guess the others and I will make ourselves cozy for now. Hmm. Interesting. There's actually quite a few of them, actually. Because this guy is quite huge, actually. He's built like a truck. <laughs> He's built like two of these guys. <laughs> What's with the scorpions, though? Because they're kind of like the dune scorpions, but like, different as well. Huh. Cool. But, yeah, this is where all of them went. Huh. Well, they don't seem to like us at the moment, but... Uh, oh, thought that was a crank I could make turn, but nope, nothing I could do there. Are the ones that are laying down sleeping or dead? Irk, what strength that king held. What a monster. Okay, he's good. He's just tired. <laughs> good thing, because, um, well, based on what we know about the everlasting sapling, it gives eternal life based on what we learned from the roaches research back when we first learned the truth about leaf. But other than that, uh, yeah, good question on how the power works. It seems like it works for, you know, longer periods of time, as long as you, you know, use the, use its power, it seems, because it seems like even though they fought the Wasp King, they're still alive. So, huh, interesting. Um, what a day, dumb delay. I'm ready to fight alongside Maki. What about you, buddy? Aw, oh, poor dude. <laughs> Still can't talk, but... Um... Well, let's see what's going on with Elder. I'm gonna keep the voice for the Elder, though, because I like it. But, let's see here. What's going on with him? Hopefully we can make our case be known, but I highly doubt they'll let us just destroy the sapling. Mm, my word is final. Won't let you through. Um, please. You must listen. Um, Team Steve Balder here. Perhaps you have some way to persuade him. Um, yeah, it's called the Beamer. Um, ow. Uh, stop it. My um, fewer if, um, you'll allow us. Um, please. Okay. Hopefully Leaf's got this. Hmm. This is something only Bai and Kabu knew, but we are not of this time. We served under the first Queen Elysiant. Um, what? <laughs> is this true, Kabu? Um, yeah, it was not our secret to tell. The roaches used to roam Bulgaria even if they secluded themselves a bit. When we were found, we discovered they'd all disappeared and none, no one knew why. But during our travels, we found a laboratory. Roaches had experimented on others creating vile monsters. Uh, what? All in the hope of replicating a fraction of the sapling's power. What go good has the sapling done anybody all these moons? All it's done is plunge explorers into danger, and now that mad king's gone crazy for power. Even our late queen was tempted by the promise of eternal life. The saplings only hurt others by existing, even you. You live trapped in the forsaken place, guarding an ancient temptation. True. But, uh, I don't know, they seem pretty brainwashed by it, so I don't think this will work, but eh, maybe. Let's see. Thank you for your words. Won't you be considered elder? Hmm. When I was born, my mother said, the sampling is the key to everything. Good, evil, it all comes from the sampling and it is sacred. So sacred that we endure to protect it. And so we have for so long. But you're right, aren't you? What good has it done to us? Every time a child strays too far, never to be seen again. It's a sampling's fault. Sacred, my husk. Well, good to hear. <laughs> then you'll reconsider, right? Um, wait. Huh? Oh, okay. Um, Elder, are you sure? What will become of us? We will find a new purpose. One that doesn't doom us to live on the edge of violence. One that lets us enjoy the plains of legends again. Um, Elder, thank you. Um, you are welcome into our kingdom to explore that possibility. 
I can't believe it. We'll let you pass to the sampling planes. Go destroy the sampling. Our new future depends on it. Oh, we could have done it sooner. Let's run. Uh, Vi really doesn't get politics, does she? Hmm, that's why she's all Vi. Let's finish this. Yeah, definitely. And based on the fact that we were able to find the Roach Village, and I think they're, like, based on what we heard, they're, you know, the best protectors of the thing, so we must be really close, right? That would make sense. But maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Maybe it's even further in. But we definitely made some major progress in defining it. But let's see what's going on here. Um, this is a bit... Place is a bit drab, but it's been to I've been to worse places. Maybe say toy here sometime to try and blend things up. What about you, Zasp? Even though it's safer here, can I relax? Can I take my fear from what's ahead? Uh, good question. Oh, hey, Jen and Aerie got here. I'm surprised about that one. Um, hey, hey, um, we somehow made it through, but it's too much. We believe in you. You can do it. Wonder if that creature will attack us when we leave. Probably will. I wonder what it is, though, I really do. I believe myself an able fighter, but this land is brutal. I won't trust the Saint Kingdom's future to you, Team Snakemouth. What about you, Celia? Um, ooh, I'm glad we I've met Levi. He saved me so many times. We gotta get through this. Definitely should. But I'm gonna say maybe we'll leave um whatever comes next in the next episode. Because I feel like wherever we're going next is definitely going to be where the sapling is. And wherever the sapling is, let's be honest here, the Lost King is going to follow. So, let's be honest here, we're definitely going to be seeing the Lost King very, very shortly. No way around it. But with that being said, thank you all for watching today's episode. It's been a wonderful time hanging out with you guys, it always is. And with that being said, thank you all for watching today's episode. It's been a blast. And honestly, from here on out, we just keep making our way further and further into the Giant Slayer and hopefully find wherever the Everlasting Sapling is. So, with that being said, keep being spooky and peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.